Listen close to my Bronx story, because it's a tale of temptation. From 138th Street to the Grand Concourse, consider this your initiation. I'm this Afro-Cubana is proud, this Jamaican princess is strong, changing the world no matter how long, standing out in the crowd. This modern-day mommy chula is full of dulce de leche. Spread the word around, no more shy girl, this is a fly girl. So on a night like this, I got a text message to get out of the apartment. Now I know we don't give text messages out of thin air much weight, but I took my roommate's girlfriend showing up unannounced. As a sign that I should at least consider it. I used to look into your eyes and think that you were the only one that was gay for me. Like two puzzle pieces where no business being next to each other be fit. Shit. Mm. No one tolerate me the way you could, teach me the way you could. No one could know me and understand me the way you did. God bless. Then that was the basis you used to start this mess. Being brought back into my minority features with a crack of your backs, batting a thousand on inner city rocks. From now on in the hood, they should call you Mr. Jackie Robinson. How you be jacking and robbing our fathers and sons of their precious life? We talked of the wingless world, knowing how easy it is to fall off edges when living on fringes, and how sometimes letting go is the only way. I can see it so clearly. It's paradise, I know it. Come to a oneness. Have a little hope. Help each other out. Adorn our girls. Let's see it together. Form our world. See, history is the line most commonly agreed upon. Are we about to politicians and change faces like lion chameleons? We go to maze so that commons can make millions. Build for the people and by the people is just a state agreement to deceive you. Good suburban girls chase dinner with fingers and guilt. Decades later, I still have not decided on your bottomless flavor. My esophagus can only drudge through so many contradictions before it tears, so I wrench words now. No, I didn't write my book for you, and I didn't dread my hair out of spite. But I finally found a place in life that I feel most at home, and you had to know when this was over. All you need was just a home. Mm -hmm.